New from Trijicon is the RMR HD, the next evolution of the RMR. Built based off of user feedback from the current generation of the RMR, this new RMR HD has a number of features that enhance the end user's capabilities. First and foremost, we have a 2032 top loading battery with four years of battery life. You have two reticles in one optic. You have a dot or the option to run a dot with a 55 MOA segmented circle. You have a forward looking light sensor, which senses light at target. You have a large clean window with a center indexing ridge at the top of the optic, all while being run on the RMR footprint. Another advantage to the RMR HD is that it has the same footprint as the original RMR. So it will mount to any slide or plate that has the RMR footprint. It also uses the same screws as the RMR. So now we're going to discuss the proper mounting of the RMR HD to your slide. First, select the appropriate length screws with the pre-applied nylock patch. Take your RMR HD, place it on your slide, ensuring that it's seated properly on the recoil lugs. Then take your screws, place them in the appropriate hole. Then, alternating, tighten each screw till it's fully seated. Once each screw is fully seated, make sure it's torqued to 16 inch pounds. Now the RMR HD is properly mounted to your slide. Of note with the RMR HD, it has a similar overhang like the SRO. So once mounted on your pistol, make sure that that overhang does not interfere with the ejection of the casing. One of the more complex features about the RMR HD is its enhanced adjustability. So for this discussion, we're going to talk about two different modes that the RMR HD operates in, operational and administrative. Operational mode is its normal operating mode. So when you're shooting on the range carrying, this is its standard mode that it'll be in. And in this mode, there are several things you can do. You can have auto adjust brightness, you can have a manual adjust brightness, or you can lock out the buttons when you're in auto mode, or you can lock in a specific setting in manual. So again, that enhanced adjustability that allows the operator to control how his optic operates. Next is administrative mode. In this mode is where you tune the optic to your preference. So first, you have reticle select mode. And this allows you to choose between the dot or the dot in the 55 MOA segmented circle. The next mode is your brightness relative response. And this is where you tune how your auto adjust adjust the brightness of the optic. You have three modes. You have low, default, and high. Low keeps the auto bright adjust in the lower end of the spectrum. Default runs through all illumination settings. And high keeps you on the higher end of the illumination settings. So for instance, if you're operating in super bright daylight, you kind of want to keep your auto brightness in the high end and vice versa if you're in low light settings. Lastly is your reticle relative brightness. And this allows you to tune the, the brightness contrast between your dot and your circle. Again, you have a low, default, and high. The low end allows you to have a bright dot with a dimmer circle, default, the dot and the circle are equal, and then the high end where the circle is brighter than the dot. So now we're going to discuss the features and how to access them within the optic. So first we'll talk about what you can access in operational mode. So first of all, to turn on your unit, simply press one of the buttons on either side of the optic and hold, and it will power on into the default mode. Default mode will always be auto brightness adjust mode. To turn off the unit, press and hold both buttons for approximately six seconds. After three seconds, the reticle will start blinking. This is normal and continue to hold till the optic powers down. While the optic is on and in default mode, if you want to go to manual brightness adjust mode, Simply press one of the buttons on either side of the optic and adjust to the desired illumination setting. This 
will automatically put you into manual mode. To go back into auto brightness, simply press both buttons at the same time and release, and that will put you back in default mode or auto brightness adjust mode. Now we're going to discuss how to lock out the buttons in auto brightness adjust mode or lock in an illumination setting when in manual. First off, when in auto brightness adjust mode, to lock out the buttons, you must first power down the optic. Then, once powered down, press and hold both buttons for three seconds. Now the optic will power back on in default mode or auto brightness adjust mode with the buttons locked out. To regain or to go into manual adjust mode from this, you have to hold both buttons for six seconds and power down the optic, then power the optic back up. Once in manual adjust mode, to lock in a specific illumination setting, all you have to do is press and hold one of the buttons on either side of the optic for three seconds, after which, the reticle will blink, showing that it has accepted the illumination setting, and now you're locked into it. You should note that if you're in button lockout mode, in auto brightness adjust mode, you cannot access administrative mode without powering down the optic and powering the optic back up. Same thing goes for when you're in manual uh, illumination lock-in mode. You must get out of that mode before you can access the administrative mode. So now we're going to discuss how to access the different sections in administrative mode. And remember, again, the three sections in administrative mode are reticle selection, brightness response, and reticle relative brightness. To access reticle selection, press and hold both buttons for at least three seconds. After three seconds, the dot will begin to blink rapidly, at which point you release both buttons. Now you can choose using the plus or minus button to cycle the reticle on or off. Once you've selected which reticle you want, press and hold one of the buttons for three seconds to go back to operational mode, or let the optic sit for 10 seconds, at which time the optic will automatically go back into operational mode. Next, we're gonna talk about brightness response. To access brightness response, press and hold both buttons for at least three seconds. After three seconds, the dot will begin to blink rapidly, release both buttons, then press them again for another three seconds. And then you will see the dot go from a rapid blink to a slow blink. Once you see it go to a slow blink, release both buttons. Now, while the dot is still slow blinking, you can now press the plus button to change brightness response to high, or press the negative button to change to brightness response to low. Once you've set your desired setting, press and hold one of the two buttons for three seconds to go back to operational mode, or let the optic sit for 10 seconds and it will automatically go back into operational mode. Next, we're gonna talk about reticle relative brightness. To access this, you need to press and hold both buttons for at least three seconds, after which the dot will start to blink rapidly. Release, press both buttons again for an additional three seconds, and you will see the dot go from a rapid to a slow blink. Once you see the slow blink, release both buttons, then press both buttons again for an additional three seconds, at which point you will see the reticle start blinking. This will let you know you are in reticle relative brightness. Now, you can either press the positive button to make the reticle brighter than the dot, or press the negative button to make the reticle dimmer than the dot. Once you've reached your desired setting, press and hold one of the two buttons on either side for three seconds, or again, let the optic sit for 10 seconds, and it will automatically go back into operational mode. It should be noted, at any time, if you wanna go back to the factory default settings, you can press and hold both buttons for 20 seconds. Now that we've discussed 
the features and the functionality of the RMR HD. We've mounted it and customized your settings. You can now go out and enjoy the next generation RMR, the RMR HD.